Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to talk about some of the movement mechanics in Deadlocked. Alright, so the first movement mechanic I want to talk about is lag jumping. Lag jumping is basically when you charge boot and land, and then jump to keep the momentum into your jump from the charge boot. An example of this is right here in Catacrom. I'm on a higher ledge, and I'm going to go charge boot towards a lower part of the ground. And when I land, there's like this kind of falling animation into the ground, um, and which tells me that I have my lag jump. And so I can use that to jump into a much faster jump than I would if I was moving normally. And so the key here is to not use the analog stick when you land. So you can use the analog stick when you're charge booting, but as soon as you land, you want to let go of that analog stick. Otherwise, it'll it'll carry your analog stick's moment, uh, movement speed into the jump, which is not what you want. All right, that was me holding forward. This works anywhere that you have some kind of ledge. And is a pretty basic and crucial part of moving around in Deadlocked. Next one uh, is kind of an evolution of this. It's where you use the magma cannon to shoot and stop your charge route early, making you land in, in a potentially better uh, spot for a lag jump. A uh, good example is here in Cratochrome, we have this pool where if you fall into it, you will start to drown. If I want to lag jump here, I'll charge boot, shoot, land, and then jump over the pool. Just like that. Alright, so next up I want to talk about swing shots. Swing shots as they are are very slow. If you try and use a swing shot like this, you have to wait until you land before you can equip a different weapon, um, limiting your options while you're landing, making you an easier target. So what you want to do to get around this is to actually equip your swing shot ahead of time. And what this will let you do is you'll be able to switch into any weapon, but particularly your wrench, um, right after you, you're done swing shotting. And that will let you hyper strike and carry some of that momentum into the landing. Um, and you can actually take this a little bit further to speed up your recoveries and try and angle yourself so that you're closer to the ground when you wrench. And this way you're spending less time in the air and speeding up your, your overall momentum, your overall speed, it's something to consider. The next thing I want to talk about is triangle jumping. Uh, triangle jumping is like the cousin to lag jumping in that it lets you carry uh, your momentum from a charge boot into a jump. But unlike lag jumping, which is limited to landing like this, triangle jumping can happen anywhere. And this makes it arguably a more useful mechanic to learn, although they're all important. So the way that triangle jumping works is you want to hold triangle uh, during your charge boot up until you finish charge booting, so like right here, and then you want to quickly jump afterwards. And the faster you're able to, to detect when you are done charge booting, which is all really just muscle memory and timing, the faster your, your jump will be. Uh, the more you wait, or the slower you are, then the less momentum you'll carry into it. And you, you don't have to open up triangle or a quick select from the start. You can do it, as long as you do it before you finish charge booting, it doesn't matter. So if I try and wait to the end, I can still get a good triangle jump in there. Um, and for this, it's important to know that when you go up a steeper surface like this, um, you want to use your left analog stick. So if I try and lag jump this, the character will actually stop partially up the surface because of how the game handles slopes and it'll ruin my <laughs> my momentum so instead of doing that what you actually want to do is hold forward on the left analog stick and then that will let you carry your momentum into the jump all right so the next evolution of this is using your magma cannon or whatever weapon you have to stop your charge boot early so that you can carry your momentum at that point into your jump uh, and this is really useful because it lets you worry a little bit less about the initial position that you start at and enables you to more quickly 
make these jumps. So this one, this jump, for example, um, if you want to make it, usually you have to start here. If you want to be able to start a little bit earlier, like here, you'd want to shoot and stop your charge boot early and then triangle jump into it. So the way that you want to do this um, is you want to shoot and open your quick select at the same time. So you have to really get used to the timing of where you want to shoot and open your quick selects and then where you actually want to jump because they're not exactly the same position. Um, when you watch me do this, I'll like shoot a little bit before I get to the edge and then I'll slide a bit right after shooting and then I'll double jump. Um, so you just have to be conscious of, of when you actually want to jump, where you actually want to jump and by virtue of that, when you want to shoot. So you just charge boot, shoot, open triangle and then let go of it as soon as possible and double jump. Let's try it on a flatter surface. Just like that. <laughs> I'm just lag jumping now. Yeah, practicing that is really important because it'll let you be more uh, like effective, I guess, at, at moving around different maps. Because you sometimes just pos getting the right initial position is just not an option. So being able to do that wherever is, is really helpful. So triangle jump doesn't just apply to jumping. It also, triangle also applies to wrenching as well. Um, it seems that for whatever reason, it, it just enables inputs right after charge booting instead of having you wait until the charge boot has finished completely. So that includes the sliding. Um, and so that's really useful in CTF because what you can do is you can use triangle to quickly, oh, <laughs> you can use triangle to quickly change your rotation, making you a lot harder to hit. Um, and you can also do this a little bit as well without the flag, although it's a little bit harder because triangle also tries to like equip the weapon. Um, but you can kind of do like funky things like this. Uh, and you'll see if you watch, uh, like we have some CTF games. Uh, there's one with uh, Skills does it in like some of the 2v2 CTFs. Um, Reflex and the 2v2 CTFs uh, replay. I think we have a CTF with replay who likes to rush. Um, you'll see them do this. You'll see them do all of these mechanics. Um, and they'll do it very uh, effectively and really quickly. Um, and that's, that's kind of what you want to strive for because uh, Doing that will, will just make you a better player in general.